Hey everybody, welcome to another What's in the Shop with Dustin. I'm with Terry today and we're getting ready to replace some fender skirts on a Grand Design Reflection. Um, the fender skirts were continuing to crack at the screw holes and I want to show you why and I want to show you what we do different to go ahead and fix that to help prevent it from happening in the future. Well, Terry's gone ahead and pre-drilled the holes, but as you can see the dimple that's there, the dimple and the surface of the edge it's about a quarter inch higher. So I don't know if I can get a good enough view for you guys, but basically whenever they're installing these screws through the surface of it, you know, when they're installing the screws through the surface of the fender skirt, they're basically, you know, it's compressing into the hole, which is causing the pressure of it to crash. And so like in some of the pictures that I took, we used the washers as an example. And so it was three washers high in order to get it flush with the actual wall, the surface of the coach. Hey, so we're back outside now. And this is a picture of the coach that we're getting ready to replace the fender shirts on. And again, what I wanted to show you was, you see how badly cracked they are? And when they're in, when they're tightened up, you know, it creates a crack because it's pushing pressure against that quarter inch lip. Um, again, this one wasn't that secure and it was causing it to come loose. So again, if you see back behind here, that's a huge lip that that screw's having to put pressure against the side of that, causing it to wanna crack, just like that right there. So, and that's again from the screw being over tightened, right? And then of course you have the flex and the vibration when this thing's going down the road. So you gotta keep in mind that the J-Metal is you know, flexing and shaking as it's going down. He's basically taking a product that we use that's called Dicor Cap Sealant, and he's applying a small amount to the surface where the screw hole would be, using it to glue a washer in, and then he's going back over, thickening with this product. And this product is, it's a sealant, but it's also like an adhesive. So it's gonna keep that washer in place, and then it's gonna make a nice little bed so that the actual surface of the mount and the surface edge is making contact. And again, that's a lot of the issue that we're seeing. We're seeing no braces being put in. Have you seen, have you seen in other pictures and videos that we've posted, you know? And so when you're talking about how thick is this stuff, this is as thin as a credit card. So, if the screws are over tightened and all this extra pressure is put in and you can see how thick the height is, these little dimples do not come pre-drilled. And so he pre-drilled those instead of using self taps. And then he'll install the screws and not install them over tightened so that it doesn't cause an issue for it to crack. So I'm back with Terry. He's just dry fitting the holes to make sure that everything lines up from the washers that he put in, using the screw to go back through. Because the sealant sets up pretty quick and it's a lot more thicker. So Terry just got done doing this fender skirt. What I want to show you is even though the sealant on the backside doesn't look pretty, you're never going to see that. What we've done is we've beefed up the mounting surface of this fender skirt to prevent it from getting future cracks. Now he's also gonna do the ends and he's gonna do the center mounting areas with the brackets, but he has to wait and do that once it gets installed so he knows where to line that up to. So the whole trick when running these in is not over sinking the screw. And so you can see we haven't installed the screw here yet. And we've just installed this one as well. And you can see that it's not, even though there's a shadow, that was the shadow above it and below, there's no, you know, we're not recessing. No, no divots. No. no divots, yeah. We're just putting it in just tight enough to be snug. And then Terry's gonna go back and see about adding some additional braces. This one's a little bit more trickier because it's on a slide out. So there's not much floor play in it. And he was just doing like a wiggle test on that side. Um, where he's adding the screws in. So again, he's using the impact drill gun 
actually just slightly tightening it. I was just slightly squeezing the triggers, not just sending it home, driving it into it. So what we want to express is that like Terry was just talking to me was about when he's going ahead and he's tightening up the screw, that now that that mount is back behind there, you said it was doing what now, Terry? It's not letting it, uh, it's not pushing the plastic in the, on the fender in. And then it's making it have a better mounting surface. Yeah, it's solid before it starts smashing your plastic and cracking it. Very cool. Mm -hmm.